We can address that some from a national perspective, uh, but it's very important for communities to address this issue. Without enabling and enlisting the help of community partners, we cannot begin to get where we need to go in addressing this as a medical concern. Safe Communities is an injury prevention coalition. So we look at the top causes of injury in Dane County and then we pull together partnerships to address them. We had folks from law enforcement, the treatment community, family members, first responders all come together and identify key strategies that we've been working over the last couple years to implement. Families that are trying to help loved ones battle against addiction need to know where to find help. One thing that we did was to create a parent addiction network and a website that is a one-stop shop for community members who are seeking resources. Educational resources, what is addiction, what are the signs and symptoms, what is drug court. Parents Addiction Network, they are right there. They've been in trainings for us. They've been at homes for us. They therefore become more relevant as officers have questions, as families, loved ones have questions. Most people when they start with heroin or prescription abuse, it, it often starts through their obtaining medication from somebody that they know. So we need to get those unused medicines out of people's homes. We have a med drop box that's in our lobby. Anyone can come in off the street and put in any prescription medications. Every Dane County resident is just minutes from a location to drop off prescription opiates. I didn't think that this program would, would take in nearly what we do. I mean, it's, it's nonstop. It's staggering. We have to identify whether there are ways to reduce the numbers of opioids in the community while still treating legitimate pain. I worked on a project here at the Dean Clinic where we created what we call a smart set in our electronic medical record that has really kind of a one-stop shop here with all of the necessary items, including the opioid risk tool, including a pain medication agreement, including urine drug testing orders, and uh, laddered prescriptions if necessary. Having a, a tool like that might be something that a local community, not in Dane County, might consider accepting or um, pursuing. Naloxone is an antidote used to reverse the effects of a drug overdose. Communities are working to get naloxone into more hands of friends, family members, and first responders who are most likely to be present at an overdose so they can save lives. I actually had the ability to watch naloxone work firsthand. CPR was being performed on this person. This person, for all intents and purposes, was dead. The guy was administered naloxone and he came out of it from basically being dead to two minutes later he was awake and, and able to talk. When the officers have the sense that we're providing them with tools. I think you're giving our officers a profound opportunity to make a difference, and I think that resonates. Making naloxone more available and um, making it easier for people to call 911 without concerns about criminal prosecution are two things that will make a big difference in our community. Safe Communities borrowed campaigns from other states, including the Call 911 campaign. We're launching a bus ad. There'll be ads circulating through town that will say, would you let a friend die? The power of coalitions are the partners. So having all of these different partners playing off the same sheet of music is really essential to an effective program. It will save lives. And that's really what this is all about.